we're having a busy year and, uh, you know, we hopefully will continue to do that year after year after year. Film and television production has been happening in Alberta for a long time, but nothing has been as big as The Last of Us, an HBO series based on the popular video game. Calgarians were excited as we've never seen such a massive production in our city. We posted photos on social media and sometimes got stuck in traffic downtown because of filming for the production. Now that filming has wrapped, the economic impacts for the city and province are being tallied. A very big part to play last year uh, in our record-setting year. I mean, we um, we doubled our production volume in 2021 uh, to over $522 million in the Calgary area and $560 million in Alberta. The last of us sets in Calgary are gone. No more vines growing up the sides of buildings. No more wrecked vehicles on the streets. The sets may be gone, but the lasting impact of The Last of Us is still felt in our city. So when you take all these things into play, it starts to really create uh, a confidence level in the marketplace that this is a location of choice for film and television long term. It creates a marketing opportunity for us because there is no better advertising and marketing than being able to pull off a show um, of the size and scope of The Last of Us. Many local people were employed for the production of The Last of Us from crews to construction. It's a perk for a lot of people. But does a production like this benefit a local filmmaker who's been in the industry for a decade? When all of the film and television boom sort of started happening last year, I, you know, I would go to dinner with, with my girlfriend's family and, and they would say, hey, film and television is really kicking off. What, what does this mean for you? And unfortunately, not a whole lot for me, at least not directly. But Matt Waterworth says there are indirect perks for him. A big challenge for local creators is getting funding for projects. And when a production wraps, some of the talent is still here. And now when you can reach for people who have worked on things like, you know, uh, The Last of Us or um, I mean, Ghostbusters or, you know, tons of huge shows have come to town and you can say, look at their resume. They're working on world class stuff and they've agreed to be a part of my production. That's huge for me, for sure. Looking into the future of film and television production in our city, while the work for Calgary Economic Development and the Film Commissioner continues. Although your region is uh, becomes known for being able to uh, work at these levels, at these world-class levels, you have to continuously showcase what your abilities are to keep that momentum going. In Calgary, Danina Falkenberg, City News.